noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. What the hell? Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. <laughs> Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class. That I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So... Perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see? The room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Our first stop will be beyond the camp. We can leave now, or you can come and to go. One sec, Deke. Sorry. I almost forgot to hit record. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. And today, Deke is going to teach us something about uh, beasts, I guess. So, party on, Deke. Uh, I'm ready to learn how to use it. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Deke loves an outing. Where are we going, Deke? A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Mm. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Have you been in a knapsack, Deke? We have arrived. Ah. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff schemes nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff scheme, and in it'll go. All right. Knapsack. What's up, buddy? Um. Oh, I gotta equip it. Come here. Gotcha. You got one. I did. I did it. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A job and all, perhaps. All right. Where would I Where's find that one? at? Deke yeah. knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Um. I'm ready? Oh, shit. It's all the way over there. And fast travel. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. It and is. Most be included. Oh, we're closer. Can we capture those? Or is that what we're catching? I don't know. Oh, money. Deke. I'm here. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps um, we should work quickly. The Jobanols are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Uh. Then yep. I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Let's see. Equip. Leviosa. That's not it. 
That's not it. Oh, we already have equipment. I need to learn my spell names. Come here. Come here. Now, now. I'm only trying to help. Um. Come here, birdie bird. No, oh, wrong button. I think. Did I kill that one? Got it. Come on. Come on. There, there. Whew. I'm not going to hurt you. That one took a minute. Deke, I got it. Come check it out. I rescued a job and all. Deke hopes your job and all finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Me too. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They Ooh, live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Okay, Deke. Where am I going? Oh, that's not too far. I didn't mean to shoot you. It was an accident. I got a little carried away with my buttons. Moon calf habitat. Deke! I'm stuck on a rock. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to I, see them. I, I do have a way to hasten time. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. It just so happens. It is night time. Amazing. Hey, buddies. Um, come here. I ha I'll take care of you. I got gotcha. you. You'll, you'll be perfectly fine in here, I promise. I mean you no harm. Deke, guess what? I got it. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. No, it it's is. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Good plan. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Okay. Deke. I'm back. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. Um, what'd you do but, to my um, room? Not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. It Perhaps wouldn't. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Let me think real hard. <laughs> Excuse me. That's Ooh, not what it. What exactly did you think of? Oh shit. Heavens! You've done it! What did you What is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Uh, why do you always say that? I'm fucking ready, dude. Let's go. Ah, I created my own world. 
Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. No, oh, of course I do. Um, manage beasts? Uh, add, add, add. Really my eyes. And hard. Oh. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space Indeed. for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skein hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Uh, go. Let's put that on. And we'll do this real quick. Ow, you son of a bitch. Uh, interact. Uh, be some mature to bribe material with blah blah. Yeah. Now oh, come back. I wanna, I wanna brush you. Yeah, take a good brushing. You like the brushings? And how about a, how about a snacky snack? Look, I got little foods for you. You're welcome, buddy. Oh, you want a brushing too? Oh, it's a good brushing. Yeah, it's a good brushing. Oh, uh, you snacky. And oh, I got whatever the fudge that is. You're welcome. Where's the bird? Hey, bird. Come here. Let me brush you. Yeah, I did take a brushing. Brushing a bird, because that's weird. Oh, yeah, this is good brushing. How, snacks for you all around. Eat the, eat the snacks. There we go. Alright, Deke. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Hello, Deke. I have some questions for you. What do you need to know? Uh... Thank you. I'll get back to collecting materials. Wonderful. Good luck. I already I gotta collect more? Come here, guy. Let me brush you again. Land. Yeah, take some vittles. Oh, I didn't collect them. I'm stupid. There we go. Uh, where's the one I shot? I didn't mean to shoot you, I promise. Hey, buddy. All right, Deke. I got it. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now.
Alright, let's go to the loom. Where's the loom? Oh, I got a conjure it? Boom. Boom. Um, hold on one sec. Uh, sorry, table. Ah, no. There we go. Uh, that change color. The hell? There we go. Interact. Uh, gear features are primary offensive and defenses stay by default. Magical material can be used with the loom to add an upgrade to a secondary stat or apply traits to your gear. Multiple small upgrades can yield a meaningful boost in combat power. New, <coughs> excuse me, new beasts can be rescued at beast ends or unlocked in quests. New trait recipes can be collected and in at camps. Camps. Awesome. So let's just go here. A uh, few upgrades. So. Is that it? Dope. What else? What else? A jacket. Don't have enough. A scarf. Don't have enough. This thing. Don't have enough. Fuck. This thing. Don't have. All right. Added a trait to an item of clothing. Didn't I do that? Oh, a few traits. I mean, it's taken from Dark Wizards. Yeah, sure. That came out nicely. I, I, so I, I did it. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. It sounds like you're able to weave <laughs> even more. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. You will by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Uh, thank you, Deke. Thank you for your help, Deke. Quest complete. Uh, oh, I got a think challenge done. All right, so we got some time. Let's go ahead and see if we can knock out another main mission. I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Me neither, but through the magic of fast travel, we have made it here. And let's put our spells back on. And that one. And that one. I'd rather have that on. No, you son of a bitch. There. There we go. Now we're cooking. You made it. I made it, Sebastian. Are you getting fucked up? That's all the bottles there for. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, mm. even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. 
Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. Mm. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on. Just I'll take, take this on. Uncles. This uh, way. Where are we going? Oh, at least he runs. Good job. Let's go. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. I bet it was. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time. Everyone oh, stays way. out of sight. Here we are. Here. My sister oh. should be just inside. What a, I think I've broken into this house before. Sister. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. Yeah, the sooner you accept try. the reality, the better. Dick. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't even talk to her. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Hey, he left, so we can Poor go. Sebastian. Not the visit he doped for. Hey, that Dick. boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne, oh, but nothing can be done for her. Uh, yeah. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalist's way. Uh, oh, yeah. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. You're an idiot. Good day. I'm and. sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. I bet. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't. Truly. And I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts. And often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh, dear Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother and me in line i do miss hogwarts but i wouldn't mind being in feldcroft really if it wasn't so dreary now between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with sebastian whenever he's home it's not the cozy retreat it once was sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-aura but refusing to go after ranrock's loyalists i must say i wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was uncle solomon is frustrated by what happened to me, and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. Yeah, I'm Sebastian afraid made up his mind. Really up to Sebastian, and his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. 
I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, go take a nap. I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Sebastian. Why will he not listen to me? Because he's She's a douche. She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. Uh, yeah, he's out of line. I admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow. Always calling me my father's son. As if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. Me too. It I has refuse changed as well. her entirely. We can fix I miss it. my sister. And I'm going to get her back. I mean, Come she's with right me. There. I need to show you where it happened. Yeah. Let's see. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not go. be underestimated. Where are we going? All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Digging, you say? Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. That one, huh? This right way. outside her house. Amazing. Ramrock I don't know. Okay. They taught me a lot of stuff. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ow. Stop that shit. Hey, Mora. Whoop. I see ya. Here, come here. You've made your oh. last mistake. Got an anvil. Hammer. How nice of you to stop by. Thank you. Shit. Solid ground. Oh, 
Stop that shit. Take that. I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn. What is this? Repairing. There we go. Much better. What you got over here, guy? Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled right smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. That's rude. They'll kill for no reason. They were trying to hide something. Yeah, they were trying to it hide something. It seemed an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be what something here. What are Billywigs? To whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her. Which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here. And it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? Uh, sure. They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Uh, what's this? Yes, investigate. Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long ago. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once. Revelio. But that's all I ever heard. Uh. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. No, can't go in there. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. Yeah, something here. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Revelio. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. I'm going. Uh, we got a well. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? What when? do you mean? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Yeah, because I don't... Revelio. I don't know what you're talking about either. Man, something in the house. Sebastian, over here. Oh, I it know. Was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed. Could be, but it looks to me as though this was intentional. Good for you. Me too. What do you think, Sebastian? This house did belong to a Hogwarts professor, hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section, with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl, and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found uh. a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. 
I don't know if you're, is straight. you're not supposed to let him you know that. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. Yes. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. All right. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Oh. Is it something? There we go. Only one way to find out. And down we go. Maybe. There we go. Why bother blocking a stairwell? Ow. There oh. might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Revelio. Uh in the second week of the camp, more arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all that they can for for them, the grief is a palpable. The one who has survived the plague will well, ever we'll damage the loss. A few scars, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man, the father, lost a child, to conduct by a bear. Some shred of relief. I'm begging to think that the others. I'm beginning to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid them of the torment. A journal entry of his adorers. I should hold on to this. Yeah, you should. Uh, I tried here to learn about a long time internal struggle of overwhelming a spot. The magic wants to heal, and the preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes knowing that uh, I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw that the man leaving the camp today, the only one who survived me, of my, who sur the only one who reminded me of my father, surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research of course but that would be a fortuitous consequence of doing nothing of doing something good with Seems an ability. These journal entries are from Isidora's travels. Uh, Can bring up Lumos. Um, You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Um. Hey, Sebastian. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I you can know see me the for like five minutes. stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait, we can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now, even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. All right, uh, let's go. We're here. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Interesting. Torn pages, or torn picture. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. Examine. 
Let's have a look. Oh, what's this? There we go. Mm-hmm. Looks good. Anything helpful in the notes? You a look. rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but... Probably. I don't think so. I think I so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did no not. No way. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be uh, in touch. You're Until welcome. Then. Toodaloo. Quest complete. Any any mail? No? Nothing wants to interrupt me? Alright. I knew it. Falbatton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Ooh. Alright. So, so no more mail comes through. Uh, we're gonna end this one right here. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying uh, the gameplay. As always, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.